All right. Notice that uh, this is exactly the same uh, wording um, as for parts A and B from written homework one. The only thing that's different uh, is our velocity function is different, has changed. All right, so as I talked about in the previous video, um, so we can think of this net change theorem uh, given in this context where um, f of x is now s of t. So the net change theorem in this context says the area under the velocity function is equal to the change in position. So for part A, uh, now on the written homework, the actual written homework that you're doing, there's a graph for you to shade. Um, I'm just going to draw the graph that I'm going to shade right here, but you won't ac actually have to draw the graph. Something like that. So that's one there. Well, I guess if that's one, then that doesn't make sense to be one, does it? If that's one, let's say that's two there. Okay. So what you would do for part A is you would shade that part there. Um, because it's from 0 0.5 to 1. So this is part A here. For part B, so we want to compute the change in S. This is the integral from 0 0.5 to 1 of V of T. So that's t to the negative 2 minus 1 dt. So remember our antiderivatives. Uh, let's see, the antiderivative of t to the negative 2. Uh, so you have uh, the variable raised to an exponent. Uh, we can use the power rule. So add 1, divide by that amount. So this is t to the negative 2 plus 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Divide by that amount, negative 1. The antiderivative of 1 is t. We're going to evaluate from 0 0.5 to 1. Let's see, that's negative 1 over t minus t. Evaluated from 0 0.5 to 1. Uh, I did that work already, um, and well, let's see, maybe I should go over that just for a little review. Um, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to go back up there now. All right now, so the way I would do this personally is, I see this negative in here. I think, okay, yet a negative with in both of them, I can pull this out of the entire thing. It gives me a one over t plus t from zero point five to one. So we got 1 over 1 plus 1 minus 1 over 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is a half, right? So a half plus 1 half like that. So 1 over 1, we know that's 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 there minus a 1 over a half. 1 over a half is 2. 
let's see, one over a half. Remember, this is one divided by a half, which is one times two over one. So that's why that's two there. So you got minus two plus a half. All right, now distributing that negative in, at the end we got negative, or sorry, um, we've got two minus two minus a half. So those will cancel, we got negative, negative a half. Which is a half. So that is the answer for B, the change in S is equal to a half.